Here's the main reason why most people fail investing in crypto. Even if it's Bitcoin, even if it's an asset that goes up by 50% per annum on average, most people lose. The gains are concentrated in the hands of just a few people. The reason is that the attention on crypto and on Bitcoin is very much correlated to the past returns. So what does that mean? When Bitcoin is rising, when Bitcoin is close to all-time highs, then a lot of people look at Bitcoin. That's simply because uh, people are excited about their gains, right? People watch crypto content. The algorithms then send out those kinds of contents to more people. So when you go to YouTube and Bitcoin just went up a lot, then you will see way more exposure as a crypto channel than if you see crypto just bleeding slowly down. So that's a big, big problem. Whenever we are in a bear market, especially in a very slow bear market, nobody watches crypto content. And so very few new people learn about crypto. So very few people that enter the market buy low. However, when the prices are going up, everybody gets excited. The algorithm spreads the content more and most people join the markets at the end of a bull run. So that's the problem. That's the reason why most people fail. Most people get into crypto at high prices, then see the prices collapse, then see how they lost money, and then they simply just exit the market and say, this is not for me. Now, how can we be different to those most people? How can we actually beat the market? It's simply a matter of wanting it more than the rest. So we don't have to necessarily be smarter than other people. We don't necessarily need to have the better technical indicators and figure things out in a more advanced manner than others. We don't necessarily have to learn way more content if we are okay to simply just ride, say, the Bitcoin waves. The main thing is to simply want it more. In other words, to simply just stay around. So even if it goes down, continue watching crypto content. Even if it goes lower and lower, continue to buy at least Bitcoin, right? The asset that's very likely going to recover at some point. You don't necessarily have to buy the crazy crypto meme coins when we are low, right? Because we never know what will be the next risk on asset that pulls us up in the next bull market. But buying Bitcoin when nobody else is interested in the asset is a pretty safe thing. But most people don't do it. So what usually happens is that you enter the market at high prices, you depress in the price, you make losses, and then you've got a decision, right? The decision is either... Am I going to stick around? Am I going to stay through this painful period where everybody thinks I'm crazy to still be buying, to still be watching crypto content, to still be engaged with this market, where you're completely contrarian to all the other people? Or are you the person that doesn't want it that much, that simply doesn't look anymore at their portfolio, that gets scared to see all the losses, that maybe sells everything off and never comes back? So it's simply just a matter of wanting it more. It's simply just a matter of having more persistence than others. It's not a good idea to throw in the towel to feel defeated by catching your first bear market. Most people join crypto that way. The first time I bought Bitcoin was at around $7,000. So that was partially after the crash when we went from 20K down to 3.5K. I bought on that way down at seven and a half K. Most people didn't enter the space during a bear market, but I bought at seven and a half K and I simply just dollar cost average in. So I learned enough about Bitcoin at that point that I was pretty strongly convinced that at some point it will recover again. It was just a matter of time. It's simply just very volatile, but it's very, very tough to be buying at seven and a half K and then see your portfolio going down another 50%, right? It's not a nice thing to do. But if you've got the right mindset, if you think, okay, I'm simply just buying now for cheaper and I'm waiting it out for the very long term because at some point there's likely going to be another bull market, then the psychological pressure isn't that high. You can always tell yourself a good story, right? And the prices go up, it's nice, you make profit. and the prices go down, it's also nice. You can dollar cost average in more. So this is really what distinguishes the winners from the losers. It's simply just, do you have enough stamina? Do you have enough engagement? Do you have enough interest and enough willpower to go through a bear market, to purchase throughout, through a bear market, the very solid assets that you believe in? Are you one of those people or are you rather going to throw in the towel as we see the first losses? 
I'm not so convinced that we're going to see the 150K in Bitcoin in the next 12 months. I'm not so convinced that the Bitcoin halving will suddenly create another rally. We do not know that yet. We need to see the demand. The demand for the Bitcoin ETF, for example, is flattening out for quite a while now. At the same time, we do have people that take no profit, right? The people that bought below the realized price, that bought, say, at 16K, right? that bought after the FTX collapse, they are now up multiple X. They take some profit, and that's what's depressing the price of Bitcoin somewhat right now. So really, this is the message of this video. Do not make the mistake of just following the exposure of the algorithm, of following what the people around you are saying. Have the courage to be contrarian. Have the courage to buy when nobody is watching. Have even more courage to sell when everybody is super bullish and the prices are high. That's even harder. It's the minority that wins in any market. Profits are very concentrated in just a few people. So you cannot afford to do what everyone else is doing. You have to have a different opinion to most other people. And that kind of opinion very often takes a lot of courage because you need to have the confidence that you make the right call while most people around you are probably wrong, right? You make the money when you are right, when most people are not. Don't just be different for the sake of being different, but be different when it makes sense to you, when the data that you look at seems to be justifying to buy or to sell. Have your own approaches, have your own sources, follow websites, follow YouTube channels that you believe bring additional value to your investing. And again, in case prices go down, stay around, don't lose hope, have a nice balanced portfolio that you can always pick up the bottoms in case they come. If it's your first time here, feel free to subscribe. I publish here exactly. A like would be very much appreciated as well. Feel free to also join our Telegram. The Telegram link is down below. See you over there. Cheers.